Name the type of bonding in compounds formed between metals and non-metals. This is something that you could just simply remember, but you could also work it out. First of all, metals typically only have a few electrons in their outer shell, and non-metals generally have a almost complete outer shell. And so the way they bond together is they transfer electrons from the metal to the non-metal. And this forms ions, and so the type of bonding is ionic bonding. Then we're told that magnesium oxide is formed from the metal magnesium and the non-metal oxygen. And we've been commanded to describe what happens when a magnesium atom reacts with an oxygen atom. And we've been given the big hint that we need to refer to electrons in our answer. To help you do this question, I recommend that you work out what the electron arrangement is for the magnesium and what it is for the oxygen. And so magnesium has got an atomic number of 12, that means 12 protons and 12 electrons. And so there will be two electrons in the first shell, eight in the second, and two in the outer shell. Oxygen has got an atomic number of eight, so it will have two electrons in the first shell and six in its outer shell. And you can see now that magnesium with two in its outer shell needs to get rid of those two electrons in order to have a full outer shell. That second shell becomes the outer shell and it will be full. And we can also see that oxygen needs to gain two electrons to fill its outer shell and that will turn the six into eight, which is a full outer shell. And so to connect these ideas together, we need to say that the magnesium loses electrons and the oxygen gains electrons. There's a mark for each of those ideas. We also need to recognise that it's not just one electron being gained, but actually it's two electrons that are being gained by the oxygen and lost by the magnesium. So I'm showing these as separate ideas, but you could actually get all three marking points from saying that magnesium loses two electrons and oxygen gains those two electrons. So the one sentence actually gets you three marks. And then to finish off, we've got four marks though. And so we need to recognize that once these electrons have been lost and gained, what's left over is an ion. And so magnesium has got 12 protons and 12 electrons before it forms this bond. Once it's formed this bond, it's got 12 protons and 10 electrons. And so the protons are positively charged and the electrons are negatively charged. So that means that the magnesium has got an overall charge of two plus because there's two of those protons that aren't being cancelled out by electrons. And then in the same way, the oxygen has got eight protons and eight electrons when it's an atom. Once it's gained those two electrons, it's still got eight protons, but it's now got 10 electrons. And so this gives the oxygen an overall charge of minus two. And once we've got atoms that have lost electrons or gained electrons, they actually aren't atoms anymore. They become ions. And so for our fourth mark here, we could say that we form magnesium ions and oxide ions or we could actually say what the charges are. So we could say we've got a magnesium two plus ion and we've got an oxide two minus ion. Note the change in the name, it becomes an oxide ion. And within this, we've got the ionic bond, the attraction between the positive magnesium and the negative oxide ion. And that is the nature of this ionic bond, that electrostatic attraction.